day and it's your business. It's nearly summer and for many of us, of us that means traveling. So today we're looking into the five estate planning things you need to do before you travel. Alexandria Strike of Strike Law Offices back here to tell us more. And I was thinking, boy, I thought we just had a pack for the trip. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm guilty of doing this too, yeah. Carolyn. You know, everybody wants to put off talking about death and incapacity. Yeah. But if you have a trip planned, it's a perfect time to set that deadline and get it done. Mm. So it's more a matter of being disciplined and yeah. get it done. And so with a trip, you can say, okay, do this. And you have what, five things? Five key things. Okay. So, number one, get your estate planning documents in order. If you've never done estate planning, at least get a power of attorney and a health care directive that you can take along with you. If you wind up in the hospital somewhere, you have that person named that you are traveling with or who you trust to make some decisions on your behalf. That is such a good thing to talk about because mm -hmm. when you say estate planning, I'm thinking, oh, you need gobs of money. But you're talking about no. someone who can make some definite maybe even life and death decisions for you. Right. Okay. Right. So get that in place. Have something in place. If you have something in place already, make sure it's updated before you leave on your trip. Very good. Okay. okay. That's one of the first things. Number two. Well, number two would be look at your beneficiary designation. Mm. Life insurance, retirement plans, bank accounts. Who's going to receive that money if something happens to you? A lot of people don't update that after somebody passes away who they've named before or they get a divorce. And I've seen ex-spouses, I've seen deceased ex-spouses named as beneficiaries on bank Bank accounts. Yeah. So get that stuff up to date Could too. Be some horror stories there for some people right. if they don't review it, it. It's a lot of trouble to straighten out after the I fact. I bet it is. So and you also are encouraging people to look at their insurance as well. Right. So number three would be make sure your insurance still meets your needs. Do you have enough life insurance to care for your family if you were to pass away? Mm. Get that in, in order. Mm -hmm. Number four would be just organize. Find, may, put everything in a place where your trusted person can find it. It used to be maybe you'd have a file cabinet and you could say everything's in my file cabinet or everything's in my safe, but nowadays with online accounts, um, have your passwords written out somewhere and tell that one trusted person where to locate that good information. Good enough to just do it with one person to tell them that? Well, I would prefer to see two and I advise mm -hmm. my clients to at least let two different people know or let a trusted person and your attorney know, for example, um, but one is better than none. Yeah, and I I think about that so often, not only tell them, but probably write those things down right. for them. Okay, right. number five is talk to your family about your plan. So finally, yes, talk to them. Let them know what you have in mind. What If you have appointed somebody to act on your behalf, it's really nice to let them know that. Don't let it be a surprise. Don't have people searching for your paperwork and trying to figure out what you've done. Mm -hmm. I'd like to put these up once again if we could, so you can <laughs> just look at them once again. But I have to ask, ask you, Alexandria, how many people <laughs> actually do this before they go on a trip? Well, a trip seems to prompt people to do okay. it. So probably not as many as, as should, um, but I do get quite a few phone calls this time of year because people are planning and they're thinking, gosh, maybe I should do this before I leave. And I think you do it for your loved ones. You don't do. You? That's you right. Know, reduce the heartache, reduce the headaches. Exactly. Afterwards. All right. Great segment, and thanks for reminding us of what we need to do as we get <laughs> ready you. for that summer travel. Speaking of summer, thinking about what you're going to do with the kids coming up next right after the break, some cheaper ways to entertain the kids this summer.